It's been a few months now and the day of reckoning is here. I've turned up at the Red Hook Crit and so is my bike. If you haven't seen part one about how this bike was made, just have a click on the link above. I think it's a fair comment to say I'm feeling a little bit out my depth. Obviously the bike's just arrived. I've not ridden fixed for several years now, but as long as I keep on pedaling, I should be fine. So the bike's been designed specifically for me and for this race. It's got quite a short wheelbase and it's got a very short back end and a slightly higher bottom bracket than a normal track bike. This allows me to have stability and clearance through the corners. Spec-wise, I've got 25mm Vittoria Corsa tubs. I'm running these on a lovely set of wheels, courtesy of Miche. You'll notice that we've gone for a shallow section rim because on a crit race, it's all about acceleration. Moving to the cockpit, we've got a Hope stem in their 2016 orange and some forks from America handmade by Wound Up. They strike a really good balance between performance and compliance. At the bum end, we've got new for this year from Hope, their handmade carbon seat post with a Sella Italia X1 saddle. The drivetrain, courtesy of Miche, we've chosen to run at a 48.15. As you'll know from part one, the lugs have been handmade by the pupils of Adam's Grammar. We're using a Columbus steel tube set, which should be comfortable and fast. I'm also running my mum's trusty good luck pedals. So that's the bike. Time for me to get some practice laps in before the quali. I've just had my first practice go on the bike. I got on it having like such a huge sense of self-doubt. I thought, I don't even remember how to ride a bike. But after doing a couple of laps, I was like, no, I do know what I'm doing. Like, I do remember that I mustn't stop pedaling. I do know how to hold my line. I think I'll be riding safely. I can remember how to ride smoothly. And I think that's the most important thing. You know, I'm not, I'm not here to win it. I'm here to do a safe, controlled race. The gearing's fairly low, and I think that's fine for me. It gives me a bit of acceleration opportunity out of the corners. Handlebars are quite aggressive. Again, I think I'm going to keep them on. We had another option with us, but I think, I think it looks cool. So <laughs> that's what counts. And yeah, just starting to not fight the bike so much and just go with it. The bike feels absolutely beautiful. I've never really ridden a steel bike before and it's totally smooth. It's kind of perfect. It's almost like it was built just for me. <laughs> It's nice to see all the effort we put in kind of actually stand out because when we're building in the workshop it's just metal on metal and you can't really yeah. make it out. It's great to like see the lugs being contrasted with all the different colours, they really stand out. Um, to see the shapes like flowing down the tubes with the fade of the skyline, uh, like the streak of light going across, I think it's really captured what we kind of wanted to go for with the bike. Because when we first got into it, Anna said she really wanted light, uh, kind of, and everything flowing down the bike. And as we started getting into it, we kind of we thought, is that going to be possible? Is it not? Uh, everything that could have gone wrong went wrong, but it's, we pushed through, we persevered. It's fun like when you're actually going quite fast, it brings it to a whole new dimension. It's really difficult to gauge, like, like I don't know who the fast ones are, I don't know who the smooth ones are. There were three crashes already on the same corner, someone went too fast into it and sort of overcooked it. So I'm a bit worried about whose wheel to follow because I'm like half thinking self-preservation. But I want, like it does feel fun, it does feel like it's going to be a really cool course once you get going. So I'm thinking at the moment, I'm not really sure how to play it for the actual race. Well, I've just found out the results of Quali and I finished 31st out of 55, which I'm stoked on. It's way better than I thought I'd done. So now the test is, can I keep that going for a whole 45 minute race?
just absolutely incredible. I'm on a high. It was one of the most fun things I've ever done in my life. I can't believe how nervous I was this morning and just how happy I am right now. So many facets to this in terms of the bike, working with Anna, bringing these guys on board in terms of that real experience. Yes, yeah, fantastic. And so much to take back to school now to talk about and help inspire the future. If it wasn't for Andrew Jones and the kids of Adam Grammar School and building this bike and coming up with this project, I wouldn't have actually had the nerve to give it a go. I would have seen this race and thought, that's not for me, even though it looks really fun. And now I know that it's something I can get involved in and it's just introduced me to a new type of cycle racing that I love. <laughs> <laughs>